What is up guys? It's been a little while since I posted a fishing video. So I'm about to go out in the kayaks out at Washington Park. Can't wait guys. I just want to do a quick little um, intro scene. And I want to show you guys what I'm bringing and which rods. And just show you in the back of the truck how we usually set up the kayaks. Because that Titan 13.5 is crazy. So let me show you what I'm going to bring. Now I'm going to bring this whole entire pond is all hydrilla so i had to really choose so i'm putting the Plano guide series bag to well binder to a um, little test run i've been using it a little for mainly like um, jerk baits well soft jerk baits and so far it's working pretty well i haven't tried out the water resistance on it but i'm guessing it works <laughs> all right I'm just gonna create a quick run down and work inside of this sucker. Alright, so the first, I just got some chatterbait and spinnerbait trailer. They're all Z Man. One's in Pearl, and one is in Moodwin. And then I got some AU and Breaking Bloom. These are Z Man too. These are Razor Shacks and I have stick baits and trailers. Alright, so that's in the guide series, guys. Like I was saying, I'm just going to bring some uh, crawls with me. Probably going to flip or weightless rig them. And I got trailers too. I finally got the bass fresh up and picked up some net bait trailers. Dude, they had um, packet chokes in Bass Pro. Grab them. So in there, next I got some um, creature. I usually hold a lot more with me. I'm going to be doing some flipping, so I want to throw some... Um, some Rage Menace, and some Charlie Worms, and some different bikes. So I decided to do that. Other, I'm bringing a Spinnerbait box, jigs, and hollow body frogs. About time we got a nice frog box. Bring some jigs, and spinnerbaits. And just put them all up. So I'm going to turn it back to me, and I'm going to show you the kayaks and whatnot. All right guys, I'm gonna show you the rods and reels when I get at the lake. Um, we have everything loaded in, the kayaks and poles and whatnot, and all the tackle. I'm just waiting on him to hurry up. Tander's gotta drive there in a separate truck because if you see in the B-roll, there's absolutely no room in the back, well, in the bed of the truck. So it's gonna have to be that way. How long do you say it was, 25 minute drive? So it's gonna be a pretty, it's gonna be a pretty nice drive for you. All right, guys, so I'm going to get you when I get out there and do a little B-roll of all the sights and whatnot on the way there. So I'm going to catch you guys when I get there. Tanner's already in the water. 13.5 is here. All right, guys. I'm gonna get in the water and strap on the the head mount and get you on the GoPro. Yeah, I don't know if I'm flipping today. I thought it was gonna be a little bit warm. I'll still flip though. You can flip in cold water environment. This thing is extremely tight. Just head mount in a while, and it is 
super tight. Got one paw between my legs so I can cast from, from the right side. So if you guys ever fish kayaks, it's a little awkward to have two ball, two poles behind you and one on you. It starts to become a hassle. You're trying not to cast into each other. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is my problem. Like it's it's not a huge problem, but when you're trying to fish over them. It starts to become passive. Okay, let's see if we can even fish this right now, being we're so I reposition. I think I found a nice little spot. Casting towards some reeds. And I think I might get something here. Oh, I ended up catching nothing. Great day of fishing. Uh. guys what is up so I got back from kayak fishing not long ago and as you can see in the video let's see if I can find them not catch very much but it doesn't really matter I think the only thing that I um, should have really thought about is the water temperature and how the day was gonna go I should have brung moving baits I sort of did but I didn't really bring what I should have. I should have brought deep diving, square bills, lipless crankbaits, and just stuff like that. But I really didn't. But, I'm saying but a lot, but anyways, I flipped a lot of pads, a lot of reeds. I think I got one bite, but it was not on video. And either way, it was fun, and it's all about fishing and not catching guys and just having experiences learning. But anyways, you're probably guessing why this bag is here, and you probably know why it is. It is an unbagging. I just want to do this, guys, because I know the video wasn't that involving. I didn't catch anything, so it wasn't like super epic where I'm catching fish left and right, baits jumping everywhere. But that is not what happened. So, I know it's been a while since I posted a fishing video, and I probably should have caught something. But anyways, I got some baits. And who doesn't like seeing baits? Oh, guys, I got nine things here. Most of these are Z-Man. Um, the shop I work at, I get it pretty cheap. So I decided to buy there, and they have great products at awesome prices. So to start off with, I'm going to start with all the Z-Man stuff. Work my way into the story of these Oshak Hennessy troubles that have something weird inside. I'm going to show you. So get in this real quick so this video isn't super long. We got some minnows for, you know, just trailers in general. You know, chatterbait trailers, spinnerbait trailers, ah, anything real, anything trailer-wise to be quite honest, or just use them as, as, um, as swim baits. So I'm going to bring out the colors two at a time. This one is in pearl, red tail, and the other one's in the deal. Really nice colors. They, uh... They both have a like a natural presentation. One I would expect more reaction hits from to have the red and the pearl be more of like a natural 
natural color and clear waters and they both kind of will so that's the two right here next to one is in gold rush and the other one's in baby bass baby bass is a great color for spring and the gold rush is just in general a good color for murky water uh, they're both really nice colors and both super elastic which brings it to be like you can catch about four fish for each bait which is awesome now these next ones are swimmers awesome baits guys if you're gonna try them try them I haven't gave them a try but so far they look awesome I think they're gonna catch some big bass the four inches long one is in shiner and the other one is in sexy mullet this is supposed to be a um, freshwater edition I'm pretty sure I don't know why this one's in sexy mullet like, I, I know Snook eats shad and will go in the reservoirs and whatnot and brackish water. Anyways, so here's the two colors. Both really nice colors. Clear water bait, clear water bait, or just a murky water running it around with like a blade bait or something. Both look really awesome. So, for the story on the Oshak Hennessy treble hooks, now, this is a funny story. Not really, to be quite honest. <laughs> it doesn't really have a backstory at all. I bought them, brought it home. I was looking in them, and I realized there's something really screwy with one of them. Now, take for it that I've never had this problem with BMC, and I've been using them for about four years. Check out this hook. There we go. Holy hell. Look how screwed up that hook is, man. Looks like a blind man screwed it up. Anyways, yeah, it's a little screwed. I only got six of them technically because uh, six of them technically because the um, this one's all screwed up. But it's not really a huge concern for me. But I will say, I will say, you know, it doesn't disappoint me. But things happen. They're being exported. They're being um, made through the company in millions. So you can't really hate him for it. Anyways, next thing here is some DOA. I do not know the color, but I know it has a fat flapper on the back of that one. That's gonna disperse a lot of water. And like most good swim baits, they have a groove so your hook sits nicely in it and you can conceal it without any trouble and without even um, usually um, even having to text bow them which is really nice so the last thing we got here is some culprit which is my favorite company for soft baits I probably should have a lot more but there's some things I don't like some things I do so these are in the crawl the crawl creature crawl junior which is really nice they're in a perfect size at 2.5 and these I use for trailers on football heads and all sorts of stuff. Anything really trailer wise for flipping and punching and whatnot. Those are really nice. Now guys, that is everything. I just wanted to end this video on a good note. And just, like I said, end it on a good note. And just make it where there's at least something in this video that you guys like or something in it that really gave you a kick out of the video because I know I haven't been posting often because of work but I'm still posting and I'm never going to stop and you guys just keep me driving forward but anyways guys thank you for all your support remember to like, comment, subscribe I hope you have a great day thanks for watching like always guys keep it rolling and watch out for the next video, guys.